this is our story. Shortly after Shay was born, I got very sick, which made it nearly impossible to raise the kids. Gary took care of everything he could when he returned home from work, and Bree, the five-year-old hero, took care of things during the day. This could not continue, so I reluctantly sought out a doctor. A surgery date was set in one week for them to scope my stomach. One week seemed far away, enough time for my mom to send me a natural supplement to try, which I did. I quickly got better, canceled the surgery, and we began a quest to learn about natural healing methods. Before this, we didn't really even consider that what we ate could be a problem. When Bri was three, he was diagnosed with fluid in his ears. He could barely hear and it was affecting his speech. The specialist suggested tubes. My mom thought he had an allergy. So we took him off of milk and within a week the fluid was gone. Our paradigm was beginning to change. Any health problem that arose, we began looking at healthy food as a possible solution. Upon discovering milk allergies, we decided to try Bryson and Shea on goat's milk. So we found a local farmer and began purchasing raw milk. Nobody would drink it but Bryson and Shea. Good thing, because it was very costly. Nutrition became a way of life for us. We were convinced it was the key to a better life. We were buying the most nutritious foods we could afford, but it was getting expensive for our growing family. Then it hit us. Why couldn't we raise animals and grow our own food? So while we were still in the city, we began our journey while we looked for property in the country. Then just when we were about to give up, Gary found our dream place. So we moved and lived out of an RV for nine months. We began acquiring animals and doing the farmy thing. But we had no experience. We turned to others with our farming questions. However, most people raised on a farm were so young at the time, they couldn't remember much. We then turned to the internet. We could get any answer we needed. We are so thankful for the internet and those who take the time to share valuable information. Learning to raise and grow our own food has led to the desire to be self-sustaining in more areas. When we first moved out to the country, we wanted to build a large family home. Then we met a neighbor, Marie. She lived with her family in an alternative built home, off the grid. When people would comment about how crazy she was for living like that, her response was, No, you're crazy, because you have a mortgage. A light went off in our heads and we began looking into ways to build debt free. We never ended up with a mortgage. Thank you, Marie. Being mortgage free has motivated us to look to reduce our electricity use as well. The expense of a large solar array for our home is not affordable, so we look for small ways to progress towards that goal. Homesteading seems to be the term that encompasses it best for what we do. We don't know what the future of our homesteading experience is going to be, but we do know that moving to the country did way more than we expected for our kids. They have designed and built go-karts, performed music, and continue to grow in various creative directions. Homesteading is foundational to all of these things, a healthy mind and body. We wanted to give back to the internet community, so I started a website sharing a journal of our small experiences. This led to making videos to link to our website. Our first video was designed to show our friend Susie a goat birth, as her goat Sally was about to give birth. We discovered videos were fun to create and the whole family began getting into it. We wanted to add to the wealth of info and ideas on the internet. Now with all the family involved, things can get a bit silly at times. It's sometimes misinterpreted that we do how-to videos, but our real goal is to share our experiences from a city perspective and spark ideas for others to go way beyond us. If you want more information, you can go to our website, mylittlehomestead.com. This is our channel. Subscribe today.